Okay, this is the um, lecture for the first marking period for speak, uh, study guide questions. What is Melinda's mood as the book begins? As you read the first selection of speak, list reasons why you believe she might be feeling this way. Um, you have her stomach ache, she's nervous, uh, avoiding the front and the back of the bus, defensive. Um, the kid actually hits her with a ho-ho. It's really kind of your opinion about what you might be feeling. It's, it's uh, typical how you might feel the first day that you get on the bus from high school, uh, going to high school for the very first time. But hers seems to be a little bit more. Here's your stomach ache. That's a ho-ho if you know what it was. Melinda categorizes the Meriwether students into several groups, jocks, cheerleaders, human waste, all these things. How would you categorize the students in Montgomery High School? That's your opinion. Um, how you would how you would group them together and she repeatedly alludes to an event that you that has occurred in the recent past you're gonna have to make a prediction on that I'm going to give you hints um, in the spotlight chapter it says why do you think Melinda had such a difficult uh, time speaking to mr. neck when he confronts her during lunch she's escaping the cafeteria after some other student hits her with mashed potatoes and I believe another ho-ho and uh, Mr. Nett catches her. She's not doing the right thing. When you get caught doing something wrong, I believe probably she's just nervous of what she's not doing, what she should be. And he's sort of a big, intimidating male teacher. So, so comedian Mr. Nett. What does the word sanctuary mean? Oh, that was your one of your vocab words, a sacred place, offering a refuge of safety. It could be a sanctuary of a church, um, or it could just be a safe place that you like. Describe Melinda's art class. What is the room like? What's our teacher, Mr. Freeman, like? It's uh, described as somewhere trying to get the most light it can. The floor is dried paint. Uh, it looks just like a uh, what you would think an art room would look like. Mr. Freeman, actually, surprisingly, they say he's uh, ugly. He's a big old grasshopper, but um, he smiles, which is good. How might Mr. Freeman's last name work on a symbolic level? You have that free man. Maybe uh, because he refers to himself as a rebel, he's an art teacher, kind of frees him from um, what you might think. Maybe as uh, someone who can free Melinda from whatever mess she's going through right now. Uh, describe Melinda's room. What do you think it looks like and what does this suggest about her character? She says it belongs to an alien. Um, she talks about her friends and how they overdid their, uh, renovated their rooms basically in the fifth grade and hers is all pinks and roses, um, rose wallpaper. The only thing that are really hers out of that room is her stuffed rabbit collection and her canopy bed, uh, kind of both symbolic for her as a character. Rabbits reoccur a lot through this novel and the canopy bed sort of a, a safe place, her, her bed is safe. And her rabbit collection, kind of an idea of innocence of someone who is um, scared, who needs somewhere to be safe because she's she's scared of the world to a large extent. What does Melinda do with the mirror in her bedroom? What do you think she does? That, why do you think she does this? And what might it symbolize? She talks about putting it in the closet facing back, perhaps that she can't face herself or she doesn't want to look at herself. Um, you can put your own opinion in there about that. Um, what are the different meanings for the word burrow? It could be a hole or a hideout for animals. There's one for a, a gopher, a rabbit, or if you're a fan of Harry Potter, the uh, burrow is where the Weasleys live. How does Melinda use the neglected janitor's closet and why does she need it? It's her burrow. It's, it's abandoned. She says it has no purpose, no name, and it's perfect. It could be healing for her or it could just be a hiding place. What new information is revealed about Melinda's past here? She, uh, it's revealed that she called the police at a, a party at the end of the summer. And because of this, a boy got arrested and fired from his job, according to another student at the Pepper Alley. Um, we don't know what happened. There was a party. The police broke it up. Based on this revelation, what do you think may have happened to Melinda? Aha, uh -huh, another opinion. I'm not going to tell you. Who are the Marthas? What are they known for? They dress for the season. They're innocence and apple pie, she refers to them. They're big on helping, <clears throat> they tackle projects, perform good deeds. So there's the uh, good loving the world and uh, the apple pie. With the introduction of it, more is revealed about Melinda's past. What do you think really happened over the summer? Hmm, maybe some more uh, idea here about what happened. Still don't know. The school has decided to change the 
Oh, no. Second market period. Oh, fuck. 